Hi, I'm David Waite. We're at Wrench and Rodent. And today I'm gonna to show you how to break down a skate. When you first get these, in California, you have to buy them whole. It's also really good to buy them whole, buy them fresh, buy them from somebody you trust, because when they're not fresh, they have kind of an ammonia taste, which isn't good. Um, don't eat that. But when they are fresh, they have kind of a shellfish, scallop taste, and a bit of a scallop texture. So buy it from somebody you trust. And the first thing you're gonna notice when you go buy a fresh skate is that it's pretty slimy. What we did with this one is we kind of cleaned the slime off with kosher salt and that got it to where it is here. And I think that salt also helps extract a little bit of, of that ammonia. This will tell you kind of where to go. You can see where the wings end right here. On a bigger skate, there's another muscle group that runs right along the tail and you get stakes out of this too. Just like sharks, these guys have a cartilage skeleton and you can kind of feel your way through those cartilage lines. So that's the beginning of your first fin. On the second cut, we're really just breaking the skin. And those little meat fingers go all the way to the edge. So you want to, you kind of want to get this as far as you possibly can. So if you can imagine a bunch of little miniature fish filet mignons tied together with cartilage that cooks out into flavor, that's a skate. You're really just riding your knife right along the top of it and peeling the wings back. Now it's really, you see right here, it's really easy to cut through that cartilage. It won't necessarily cook out. So you wanna get as close to it as you possibly can. If you get too much cartilage in there, you can always come back and clean it up later. So here I left you an example. This is a little cartilage splinter. Can you see that? And then we're gonna start on the other side. It's really about just kind of just gently running the knife over the top of it. Now there's two sides. We have the prominent fins on top. But there's little fins here on the bottom too. So steering clear of the guts, we're just gonna cut these two off. And this one's even skinnier, so it's, it's a higher stakes game. You see it's not a lot of meat, but it makes up for it being really kind of uh, delicate. And the, the texture is amazing. And there's that cartilage. It's pretty cool. So we're really just, on a skate this small, we're just sh basically shaving that little bit of meat off on these underside wings. But the best thing about this is if you want to stuff them or wrap anything in it, it's almost like skate paper. So next we take the skin off both sides. You're kind of just going to, just like we rode along the cartilage, we're going to just gently wiggle the knife and pull on the skin. So this is a really underappreciated species and often they kind of die on accident when we're fishing for other things. So some of the best stuff that we can eat is something that has already kind of been harvested accidentally. And um, you know, we, we killed it, we should probably do something with it. So you've got basically a filet of fish just with this really cool texture and really unique flavor.